Are you sure you want to do that, man? After what happened that night? Why the hell wouldn't I? Dude, after all the blow and trail mix you did, she was so messed up. That professor wants you gone. Blow and trail mix. Trail mix? Why? That's the weirdest combination I've ever heard. Cocaine and trail mix. Anybody feel me on that? Am I, am I just being silly here? Or is that just... Threw me off, sorry. <laughs> Oh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Turk Van Gogh Games. I'm your host, Turk Van Gogh. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you hit the like button before you leave. Always leave comments too. I love reading comments. I respond to most of them um, that ask questions and stuff. So make sure you leave a comment or if you have a suggestion on a game, I love reading those. That's the whole point of this. All the homies that are so subscribed and follow me on Patreon and donating. Um, hopefully your name is on the little preview in the beginning. And if not, donate and get your butt up there, okay? Donate and uh, donate a lot of money so, so, you, so you can be shouted out on every single video. If you guys remember a big game called Dreams of Desire, a lot of you homies that watch this uh, channel frequently will probably know what that game is. It's a game by Lude Lab. It was his big first game. It was really good. It, it kind of ended terribly in my opinion, but I thought the game was um, excellent, especially in the beginning and middle part. And I was actually in the game. I wasn't physically like visually in the game, but there was a scene and the seventh or third chapter or whatever where you uh play on the computer and it mentions me so i was i thought that was very very nice it's like the third or fourth game i was in and um it was really really uh flattering and special to me so i appreciate that loot lab i hope you're doing well i'm excited to play your new game yo he just released this yesterday so that was on the first today is the second and i'm excited this is the beta version one so we're going to be, now I'm not going to be too mean. Obviously there's probably going to be some bugs or it's just not going to be that developed and I'm sure the game is going to evolve over time. So we're going to try it out, see how good it is. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have other game suggestions. But I always want to bring you guys something new and something cool. Hit up my Patreon, hit up Lude Labs Patreon. I'll put all the links below and uh, let's do this. So let's go to new game. I don't hear any audio, so these headphones are kind of pointless. Hey! This is Dr. Sin. So I guess Lude Lab is the name of the company. Dr. Sin is the name of the main developer. Whoa, why, why did it, it didn't let me read it? All right, sorry, Dr. Sin, I was supposed to read that. Come on, sexy. No one even knows we're here. Are you sure no one saw us come here? Positive. Okay, so Connor, and we're hooking up with Chad's girlfriend, as it said right there. So we're already doing something bad. Mm. Positive, now go ahead and take it out. Oh yeah, that's it. Oh, you know Chad likes it this way and it's way bigger than Chad's, though. Oh, my God. It's always... It's always that, huh? But look, she looks good. She looks kind of like uh, the therapist from Mil Milfy City with, like, orangey hair. Okay, so that looks like uh, Chad. No, that's not Chad. It's Connor. I don't know if we're Connor. Maybe we are. She's sitting on a toilet. It's a big, big stall, though. I gotta say. It's a nice bathroom. Can you stop talking about Chad when you're doing that? Sorry. It's just that he... All right, that's it. Turn around. Let's get this over with. Oh! Look at this. Ludlab is stepping up his game. He learned from Milfy City, I think. Oh, and by the way, this is in the Unity engine. I don't know if Dreams of Desire was in the Unity engine. I could be wrong. It might have been. But I know it was in the... I feel like it was in the Renpy engine. But this is in Unity, so maybe he's stepping up his game. Stepping up his developmental game. So good for you, Ludlab. Or Dr. Sin. But look at that. You see... Some jiggling in the front, um, some great 3D animation in the back. Uh, there could be a little bit more ripple in the in the booty area, but hey, it is what it is. But uh, he, they they're completely naked. They're not worried that someone's gonna walk in on the stall. Wow, this is nice. Ah, it's more like it. Not my best, but at least she stays quiet while she's getting. Oh, this is Chad now. Chad's in the bathroom. Connor, bitch, I know you're here. Don't make me look for you. Come out right now. Oh no, that's my boyfriend. Shit, get dressed quick. Fuck is going on here? Bro, what do you think, man? You walk in on them, she's in the men's bathroom with him. And he, he's doing the, the hand over the back of the head thing, you know, when someone's lying. Alright, they, they both got fades, though. They got nice haircuts, shit. Chad, babe, it's not what you think. We were just... Just what? Chad, buddy, it's just a misunderstanding. No foul goings on at all. You think I'm stupid? 
So I wish I could ask that if that was a rhetorical question, but I better keep my words small enough for this knob. Is that, is he just thinking that? Not at all, Chad. But since we're all chums and all, why don't we let bygones be bygones? Yeah, you two are friends, right? Let's just put this. Bitch, shut up and get out. We'll talk about this later. As for you, banging another guy's girl behind their backs, not cool, brah. I should pound your face in for that, but I've seen you fight, and I can't risk any injuries before my competition. What the fuck? He must be thinking of my fight the first day of freshman year. I did kind of go tunnel vision, though. That guy was barely recognizable when I saw him two days later. At least I learned I earned myself a killer rep after that. Glad I managed to convince him not to press charges with me and Benjamin Franklin. Oh, shit, he paid him off. But he doesn't look like that. He looks like a, like a baby-faced kid. The other guy looks more like a fighter, you know? He's got the strong jaw. He looks Russian, whatever. But Chad here, on the other hand, could probably beat me until I look like Rocky. That is, if he wasn't afraid of how vicious I can get in a fight. So the way I see it, you got two choices, bro. If you want to fight, then I got my boys waiting for my word to kick the shit out of you. Now, I don't want to do that. You know, it would look, you know how that, I can't read this. Or I could just knock you out one punch and be done with it. Win-win, huh? Exactly. Win-win. Can't say I'm thrilled with that option, but I guess it's better than being beaten to death. Whenever you're ready, dude. Good choice. Okay. Okay, damn. So he got punched in the face. But there's no, he's doing the other, the, now he's using the other arm to go back in the head. This guy loves that move. Usually I have time to escape out the window or something. Maybe I'm just getting too cocky, making it extra risky for myself. I don't know. Maybe, see, I think a lot of the dialogue is going to get fixed. But this shit's kind of, it's rough to read, you know? It, it doesn't flow. But I do need something to ease this headache, though. Oh, she's smoking a cigarette, okay. This is supposed to be a good strain for relaxation. Oh, he's smoking a joint, I see. Death Star, I think they called it. Odd name for marijuana strain, but we'll see how it does. This whole legalized weed thing is pretty dope. Pun intended. Ugh. Ugh. Come on, Lou Lab, you better than that. Speaking of good stories, this retro synth music totally makes me think of a new Cyber 2099 game. That's going to be so wicked. I'm definitely going to, I'm, I'm definitely being a chicken that, okay, this is kind of corny, Loot Lab. You try to say this dude invented Cyberpunk 2077 just by smoking this joint. So is he a game developer? Like, I don't understand. Okay, the phone's ringing. Who the F is that? It's Pete. What the hell does he want? Not that I don't like him. We're college mates after all, but I'm buzzing good here. Hey, Pete. Damn, you got a wide-ass t-shirt, man. Looks like he's wearing his sister's t-shirt. Hey, dude, I heard what happened today in the restroom. Did you hear how I controlled the whole situation? Control? Nah, nah, man, I heard you got laid out. Hardly. I let that dumb meathead hit me so he could feel better about not being able to satisfy his girl with that little wiggler he's got. <laughs> I heard about that too, dude. You gotta stop banging other dude's girls. You're getting a big fat F this year, man. I'm being failed? Who told you that? A certain someone's daughter you bang? The daughter of a certain professor? They can't fail me for that just because I banged some chick? No, I'm gonna take this to the dean. That dude thinks he can screw me like this? Are you sure you want to do that, man? After what happened that night? Why the hell wouldn't I? Dude, after all the blow and trail mix you did, she was so messed up. That professor wants you gone. Blow and trail mix? Trail mix? Why? That's the weirdest combination I've ever heard. Cocaine and trail mix. Anybody feel me on that? Am I, am I just being silly here? Or is that just... That threw me off, sorry. Well, I guess it wouldn't be such a good idea to take this to the dean then. I'm going to fail college? Then what am I going to do? Go back home? Shit. Then that means telling my parents. Dad's going to lose his shit. Well, this is it. First time leaving this place in a while. At least I don't have a lot of stuff to pack. Damn, look at his car, man. This guy is in the mafia. Or he's rich as shit. That's a nice Corvette, dude. It's going to be a long drive, but I'm sure we can get there by morning. There are rarely coppers patrolling the highways overnight, so I think I'll test my top speed a bit. Two years I've been away. It feels so much longer. I wonder how much everyone has changed. I bet Isabel, my older sister, hasn't changed much. I'm sure she's still awesome and level-headed as ever. At least as much as she can be with those cannons on her boobay. Uh, I guess he's talking about her boobays. Another thing about this is Patreon doesn't allow certain games to have certain... Um, you know, they have to change the, the relations to like landlady or roommate and stuff like that. This is all legit and the reason i got this version was somebody actually sent it to me so shout out to what was it uh shake spear shake spear where is it shakespeare shakespeare 22 and that's s-p-e-i-r thank you so much um he sent me this kind of uncensored non-edited version 
So uh, I know Patreon, again, will, ha will have a different version. So if you guys download this game and see something different, don't get mad at me. Um, this was actually sent to me personally by Shakespeare. And I honestly, I didn't ask much from Shakespeare. I didn't say, you know, who are you? Are you involved in the gameplay? Um, I did send another message back, but I haven't heard a response. Um, so Lude Lab, please don't be mad at me either. Uh, if you do see anybody play this game and it's on YouTube and you see my videos, look, I'm sorry. I mean, I donate to you anyway, but this was for $40 a month, people. So this just came out yesterday. So to, to get this game, you got to be paying $40 a month to Loot Lab. But some dude sent this to me and I guess it's the uncut version because I know there's two versions. So, uh, But thank you, Shakespeare. If I get a response from Shakespeare, I'll, I'll, I guess hopefully he's a part of your company, Loot Lab. I hope so. And I wonder what, why my twin brother, I wonder what my twin brother has been up to these past two years. Dad always seemed to favor him, so he's probably had it pretty easy. So you never called home or went and visited in two years. They never came and visited you. You never FaceTimed anybody in two years, bro. Then there's Ruby, my little sis. I hope she doesn't, I hope she doesn't, but I think I deserved it if she hated me. I wasn't overly nice to her when we were younger, but she still looked up to me. Then when I left, I barely said two words to her and I kept... And never kept in touch the entire two years I was away. Okay, so you're kind of explaining it. There it is in all its neon glory. Midnight City. Oh, shit. It almost seems foreign to me. I never got to experience its pleasures. Not really. And all those parties and clubs I missed out because my parents had other plans for me or were too uptight and self-righteous to let me have my, my fill of the nightlife. Shit. Fail college. What am I even going to say to my mom and dad? We'll see how it goes, I guess. Not much, I can, not much else I can do but walk into the dragon's cave. Do dragons live in a cave? The outside's changed a bit. New paint and stucco and, uh, and a new railing on the balcony. Probably because we used to... Okay, we get it. Dad's car's still here. I was hoping we'd be gone by the time I got home. So let's go. Oh shit, Dad's coming out. Dan, look at Dad, yo. He looks like a, like a mafia hitman. Like I'm confused. So he failed college and I guess he has to come home because he's done. Is that what's happening? Connor, I was, about, I was about time you showed up. I was expecting you last night. What should I do? Night Owl? Yeah, hi to you too. Okay, how do you save this? I should have looked at the, the directions, yo. Okay, uh, I'll just say Night Owl. Well, you know me, Dad. I'm, ne I'm ever the Night Owl. Yeah, that's what I figured. An early day means a productive day. I told you this. Ladies don't appreciate a slacker, son. You're going to need to learn that soon if you keep this unmotivated lifestyle. If you can't appreciate what I've given you, then hand it all over. Damn, bro. Hand what over? Car keys, credit cards, cash, all of it now. Oh, my God. Should we protest? I think we should give in. I don't know. I feel like we should give in, but... I what? Why? Life isn't a handout, Connor. You need to earn these things. Fine. I don't need your handouts anyway. Good. Why don't you go prove that? Prove me wrong. Prove me and your mother wrong. Damn it, I feel like a child again. Hoping Dad would forget about giving us punishments for misbehaving by the end of the day. Damn, he didn't talk to his mom in two years. It's fucked up. Alright, there's mom. She must have not heard me come in. She's sure taking care of herself these past two years. Hey, mom. Damn, mom's fine. She looks just like, uh, well, no, she has a different face. But she's kind of fine, yo. Damn. Connor, you made it. Yep, safe and sound. Come here and let me hug my boy. Oh, and you become even more good looking and that stubble makes you look manly. But look at you, mom. You're still as gorgeous as I remember. Oh, I doubt you even thought about me these past two years. How could I not remember who or think about you? Just look at you. I mean, you could have called her, bro. You don't even call her. So we get that classic from the bottom up that you see in most of these adult games. Okay, so we got compliment bottom, figure, beauty. So we could do bottom, figure. I don't know. I wish I was playing this live so you guys could tell me. How about her figure? You must have had a nice six pack under there. Your figure looks so tight and lifted like you've been wearing a corset. Did you just look me up and down? My, my, it's been a long time since anyone has done that. Ooh, nice. We did a good thing. So we can talk about Isabel, Rupe, or the maid. Let's talk about Isabel. Okay, it'll be nice to see her. Okay, let's talk about Ruby. Where's Ruby hiding? Probably still in bed. I'll try to wake her in the mornings, but she just grumbles at me. I guess uh, that's just what kids do at their age, okay? Direction area here on the top. We can click on each room, which is pretty cool. Why can't we click on Isabel's room? Maybe let's go to Ruby's room. Here we go. Okay, let's see. She's still sleeping. Well, we still have that much in common. It looks like she's burying herself under the blankets. Hasn't changed. What do you know? Let's pull the blanket off her for old time's sake. Oh, shit. She's topless. She never used to sleep topless. That's for sure. Okay, what should I do? Wow, they've grown. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna be dirty in this because this is this is Dr. Sid. They developed this game. The company's named Lude Lab. We gotta be Lude. Ruby, you sure have grown in the uh, you sure have grown in the last couple of years. Damn, Connor, what are you doing in here? Oh, we can see a little bit. Nip. Oh.